Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for this evening, Richard Sandler! Uh, he takes me, didn't he? I don't know anything about films. Said, no, that won't matter. <laughs> Just come anyway. They will matter. You will have no idea what's going on. This isn't like one of those, like, this isn't like GCSE bite size. This is like the real deal. He's one of my, uh, one of my cyber friends. Uh, welcome. Uh, what? I'm not saying he's not my real friend, but I've never met him until now. I didn't even know it was him. That's how, that's how online we're friendly. <laughs> you look different to your avatar. <laughs> oh. oh, and you're a man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you know all my time worked at CTU? Jack Bauer punched me in the face more times than I was into it with my wife. <laughs> hey, you see that? Yeah, you see that? Day four. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Now he looped his handcuffs around my neck, smashed me into that glass panel he used to have, kicked me in the nuts, dropped me to the floor, ran off, shouting something out of mainframe. <laughs> Come on, and you never thought about getting a transfer? Well, I couldn't really. Uh, a bit awkward. Long story short, I'm a traitor. Oh, really? <laughs> Russians? No, no, Soviets, I think. I think they're being funded by the Chinese. Me too! Yay! <laughs> Once again, I've had a few drinks. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, it's, it's, it's my ho- this is my like, special night of holiday fun. <laughs> It's your special night of holiday fun. Special night of holiday fun. They've all paid. Yeah. <laughs> and somewhere in the middle, the magic happens. <laughs> I am Centre Parks. Come on then. <laughs> I am comedy the weather can't spoil. <laughs> Fuck you, Jesus! The main thing I like about the Odeon as well, uh, I think all branches of Odeon do this, is that uh, they have the badges where they're allowed, they've got their name and then they've got their favourite film. Underneath, if any, my sister works. That you're, you're looking very. You're, you're going. Is that true? Yeah, it is. <laughs> It'd be a weird thing to make up. But like, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's, I don't know, trust me a little bit. But uh, it's my sister works. Oh, she's got like Ruth Acaster, some like it hot underneath it, stuff like that. And like one of her friends, uh, David Humphreys, has gone, and he's been really clever because it's not his favourite film, but it's a film that makes him look good on his badge. So it says David Humphreys, Employee of the Month. <laughs> That's right, it's me! Look! It's the real Brian Bliss. Didn't we wrestle once? <laughs> Didn't we wrestle? Twice! Twice! I won four times! <laughs> yes, that's right, it is me. Brian Bliss. And I'm here this evening because uh, I want to read from my memoirs. Born a black man. <laughs> In Dartley, Birmingham. I spent the first 18 years of my life trying to win some minutes! <laughs> These are my memoirs! <laughs> These are Lenny Henry's! <laughs> Who knew? They are mine! <laughs> the Last Nation of Christ is an amazing film. People get really snotty about it, thinking it's like it's anti-religious. I have never liked Jesus so much as when Willem Dafoe <laughs> is kicking the shit out of the moneylenders in the temple. I was like, this is a Jesus I can believe. When Harvey Keitel is Judas, <laughs> this is a story I can get behind. This is my father's house! It's Willem Dafoe kicking people's ass. It's brilliant. I like Jesus more for this film than the Bible. Uh, it's one of the few examples of where the film is better than the book. Uh, uh, so this is the fourth one in a row, and um, and uh, this is the fourth time I've done this, and I, I'm going to I'm going to do it like the Superman films, uh, whereas the first one was quite good, and the second one was a bit more of the same, and the third one there was an unusual guest. In the... <laughs> And the fourth one is a bit of a write-off, possibly, uh, but then next month it will be a reboot, so it will be all right. I think I must have been about four, and Channel 4 had a Woody Allen season on, and uh, I remember sitting next to my dad watching everything you always wanted to know about sex, but were too afraid to ask. I'm still too afraid to ask. 
Like, why is he dressed up in, as a tadpole, Dad? And he's like, oh, you'll learn about that one day, son. I never did. Um, I never did. Why is Gene Wilder in bed with a sheep, Dad? Uh, y you'll learn about that one day, son. I did. Uh, <laughs> This was really tough, but the, the one I've picked uh, is the opening to Raiders of the Lost Ark because it's just fucking awesome. Which is going to be an amazing <laughs> to read. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a pub in the West End. What can we not feasibly what do in do? any way whatsoever? Let's that, do the bit intro, where he has to go through a huge cavernous booby yep. trap and then get chased away by a boulder. Yep. <laughs> and he walks up to the lake and puts his two bits of looks at his two bits of map. Baranka creeps up behind him and pulls a gun out. Indy, quick as a flash, whips the gun out of his hand. <laughs> yeah. Baranka runs off. Indy wraps up his whip and looks annoyed. Mm. <laughs> he grabs the idol. Suddenly a large boulder drops from above. And he runs away from it, dives into a crevice on the floor, allowing the boulder to roll over him. Dives. Dives onto the floor. <laughs> dives. <laughs> dives. <laughs> you, your fucking scene. Dives. It's 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 dives empty. onto the floor. Am I insured? <laughs> Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. You got the touch! Uh, 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 you got the power! And then uh, there's a truck, and then leap in the end. <laughs> 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 it shoots two, isn't it? Yeah, fucking three! Three! Yeah, in the air. In Prime. one time. One shall stand. One shall fall. Why threw your life away so foolishly? That's a question you should ask yourself, Megatron. No! <laughs> I'll crush you with my bare hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got to help Prime. Stay away, kid. That's Prime's fight. I'll rip out your octics. <laughs> uh, and, and then you fall. Ah! Uh, and then I've got to go grab my gun. Finish him up, Prime. Do it now. No, Optimus. Grant me mercy, I beg you. You, who are without mercy, now plead for it. I thought you were made of, certain, of, of sterner stuff. <laughs> no, you don't, Megatron. <laughs> Hot Rod leaps in the way like a dickhead. Again, I like that it's not, it's not catchphrase. Don't say what you see. <laughs> Out of the way, Hot Rod! Fall! You've got to grab him in a headlock. Oh, I've got, oh. Well, uh, and, then, and, then I, and then you shoot. You shoot me. <laughs> Fall! Fall! I would have waited eternity for this. It's over, Prime. Never! <laughs> Ultimus, forgive me. How do you feel now, mighty Megatron? <laughs> Astro Train Transformer, get us out of here! And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee! <laughs> Chickalini, give me a number from 1 to 10. 11. Right. <laughs> What is it has a trunk but no key, weighs 2,000 pounds and lives in a circus? That's irrelevant. Irrelevant? Hey, that's the answer. There's a whole lot of relevance in a circus. That sort of testimony we can eliminate. That's a fine, I'll take some. You'll take what? Eliminate. Nice cold glass eliminate. Hey, boss, I'm going good. I suggest we give him 10 years in Leavenworth or 11 years in Twelveworth. <laughs> I'll take I'll take five and ten in Woolworths. <laughs> I wanted to get a rid of habeas corpus, but I should have gotten a rid of you. I object. Even I object. I object too. You're on trial, you can't. War would mean a prohibitive increase in our taxes. Hey, I got an uncle who lives in taxes. No, I'm talking about taxes, money, dollars. Dollars, that's where my uncle lives, dollars, taxes. <laughs> I'm not even going to swat that fly. I hope they're watching. They'll see... They'll see and they'll know. They'll say, why she wouldn't even harm a fly. <laughs>